now we have the pleasure to talk to Brandon Carty from Loan Distillery. Uh, Brandon, nice to meet you. Nice to have you here on the show on Whiskey Experts. Um, nice just a question. Also, you have a very bold mission statement in the first five words on, on your website. And that reads the most authentic of distilleries. Can you explain that, please? Yeah, in a way, I suppose another way to describe it as a true distillery. So we see ourselves, not to take away from any other distillery, of course, but I think when, when visitors come to Cologne uh, and anybody who drinks Cologne products do realize and who follow Cologne, see us as a, something more, you know, something authentic. Um, everything's done from start to finish by hand. It's, it's clearly laid out in front of you. We're all about transparency. We're all about empowering the consumer. And uh, we're whiskey consumers ourselves, so for us, it's second nature. It's easy, but yeah. So we're I've, I've, distillery. I've read that um, you try to be uh, making whiskey the way it was made uh, in, in in former times, not so so much the modern way. Is that That's true? right. That's right. So uh, one of the things that governs Irish whiskey is is known as our technical file. It's a GI geographical mm -hmm. indicator. So. One of the benefits of the European Union is that it gives recognition to, to, to regional produce. So Pots de Lares Whiskey in particular has its own recognition, mm -hmm. and we're very proud of that. But in a way, the legislation was written by a small minority of producers uh, who, who protected their own whiskey recipe instead of looking at, at the, broader, the broader picture and the history of Irish whiskey. So we make Irish whiskey in a more traditional way with broader recipe, which means more oat, rye and wheat more rather than just barley um so yeah broader mash bills and it tastes much better as a result okay and you need the special equipment or a different equipment from the modern stills as well yeah we do we do indeed so we use fire under the stills so that's something that's falling out of fashion um so mm -hmm. we were the first to do it in, in in a very long time the last flame fed stills were from a century ago and we use worm tub condensers Worm tub condensers create far better quality spirit, but they're highly inefficient. It means mm. much longer working day. And so we use those also. So it's a labor of love more than anything else. Our stills run for 12 mm. hours. So mm. most distilleries would run them two or three times in 12 hours. We run ours once in 12 hours. So a very, very slow distillation. And to make the equipment for you, who, who is capable of doing that? Yeah, so... Uh, we, we actually use Portuguese uh, mm. copper, copper people, okay? So guys who are able to work, coppersmiths from Portugal, created them, which is absolutely beautiful. So they're kind of a cross between a Northern European style and a Southern European style. So it just fits us perfectly for what we want. Mm. And how would you describe your whiskey? How does it differ from uh, common whiskeys in, in, in Ireland? Yeah, well... There's a little bit more oil in there, so there's more flavor. Uh, more, those congeners are in there, so it's longer in the still. Um, there's a little bit of pine, a little bit of, you know, real fresh sugar in there, um, vanilla as well. The best way to, to understand cologne is by tasting or potching. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see this, but potching, potching is the daddy of all whiskeys or the mother of all whiskeys, whichever you want, but it was here before whiskey. It means little pot, but it is all the flavor in there. And it's a beautiful spirit. It's a new make spirit, but it's it's absolutely beautiful. So when you taste that, you can taste the influence that the process has on the spirit. Um, open top fermentations, wild fermentations, wild yeast, wild bacteria. Um, it means a lower yield, of course, but a much more impressive spirit. And I think you use uh, a lot of local ingredients here. Mm -hmm. So you try yeah. to source the, the, the grain from, from the local farmers. Yeah, that's right. So our, our, our distillery is uh, it's a highland maritime environment. So it's high up in the Mourne Mountains overlooking Carlingfjord Lock and the Irish Sea. So we get battered by wind and rain and we see some fluctuations in temperatures. Uh, but then we have these beautiful days as well. Um, but there's, there's like oats grown in the local area as part of a, a local threshing festival. And we use those in our mash bill as well. Oats are so important to Irish whiskey, mm. and the more oats, often the better. So people tend to turn their back on oat, but for us, oats are, are very important, and they're grown locally. We also malt on site. We smoke on site with our own turf, local turf as well. So, sorry, turf is peat. 
turf is what the Irish call peat. So yeah, we use so we've peated peated malted oats, which don't really exist. So yeah, we we, we tend to use those as well. And yeah, the viscosity in the spread as a result is just fabulous. And um, there's very few, if any, new make spirits that you can drink straight off a still. But our potching um, is is an indication of one that you can. Uh, so what what's the capacity of your uh, distillery right now? How much do you produce? Yeah, well, not a lot. <laughs> uh, when we're in full production, mm -hmm. about a cask a week. Okay. So you notice about, about our products when they're released, they sell out almost immediately. Mm -hmm. um, but we're very careful because we established a good relationship with Irish whiskies DE in Germany. So we always make sure to allocate some for Germany. And uh, so we've got a, an affiliation there. So we always make sure some goes in that direction. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we, we make a, a very small amount mm -hmm. and it's, it's becoming more and more difficult, <laughs> to, you know, because we're not a large plant and we don't want to grow into a large plant. Mm -hmm. And so we want what, to remain small. What do you have, have up your sleeves for, for, for the next release? Oh, the next release, uh, probably another potching might be good. Um, another maybe aged potching. And um, we do some lovely rums as well. Mm -hmm. The rum, the rums are great for two reasons, because um, we can make rum um, and leave it sitting there because it's a much longer fermentation. Our rums ferment for two months. <laughs> Most places are three days. So you get much more funky flavor. And uh, that means then whenever we put it in our cask and we release it, we've got this lovely rum casks. So we've got this whiskey called rum and raisin whiskey. So we also source whiskey. So we source whiskey from different places too for independent bottlings because we can't produce enough ourselves either. And we leave them in these rum casks. And we also leave them in sherry casks. And whenever we vat the two casks together, the rum and the sherry, you get these uh, Christmas cake notes, raisin notes. So we call it rum and raisin. So the rum and raisin series is beautiful. So there'll be a few special rum and raisins coming. And um, the, 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 when we make our own rum, we're always ensuring that we've got beautiful, fresh rum casks. Mm. So the rum and raisin whiskey um, is also All over, all over. It's Germany now is acting as the powerhouse to send it around Europe to, to all of our friends. So I wonder if I got one there. It's, it's that scarce. I don't even have any left. So. <laughs> so, but one opportunity to taste your whiskey and 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 your poison will be uh, the whiskey weekend, the Irish whiskey weekend. Mm. From, yeah. From my, you you yeah. bring something with you, some tasting sets, right? Yeah, that's right. So the rum and raisin and the potching mm -hmm. will be at Dar's Whiskey back in India. And uh, there's also, I think, um, the, there might be some of the Chocolinas. These guys, the likes of these, sold out. So All right. these are now, unfortunately, collector's items because there's a few of them left and people are keeping them and selling them for a lot of money. But the good guys are drinking them. And uh, so th there's very little of these left. And uh, so these are my two bottles. So... That was the, the Chocolina. Right. So Chocolina, well, this is whiskey, a blended whiskey, because some for some reason people don't appreciate blends. But what Cologne done is we took a brave move and we made a beautiful blend that was cask strength, no added color, uh, no filtration. So there's bits of char even sometimes in the casks. Mm. And we, we sent them out and uh, yeah, they were just, the, 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 the blend was just delicious. And uh, Since then, blends in Ireland have started to become very popular because I think we've almost set the trend for, for quality blends again. And uh, yeah, this one in particular was delicious. It was a Basque country cask. So they'd make a wine in the Basque country called Chocolina. So we finished a wine in it and this was also Acacia. This one was a Jamaican dark rum. It was delicious as well. But there's a range of others. So they're called the Bonded Experimental Series. So the only person with some of these left If, if she does at all, it would be Marika at um, Irish Whiskey uh, Dash DE. So um, I don't know if there's any other left. Right. So the final question, when can we expect the first whiskey from your own stills? Yeah, the first whiskey from your own stills is probably April or May. Okay. And uh, there's going to be trouble then, I'd say, because <laughs> we've tasted um, we've tasted the whiskey, you know, as it, as it matures. Um, If anybody obviously tastes the pachin now, they will see that um, it's, you know, it's 
it doesn't take any length of time for our spiral to mature. This already tastes like it's 10 years old because uh, of the long process and the worm tubs uh, and the 12 hour distillation, two 12 hour distillations, um, beautiful cuts as well. So whenever we put this in the cask, it takes a very short period of time to become ready. So we tasted our whiskey after one year. It tastes like a very, very old whiskey, um, very complex, beautiful spirit. So once this is ready in a few months time, um, it's, it's going to be very highly sought after. And uh, so we're going to police it in such a way that the only people who get to buy the bottles are people who open the bottles and uh, make sure people open them and drink them. Because there's only one sin in Irish whiskey, and that's not drinking whiskey. So Yes, absolutely. And not only in Irish whiskey. Brendan, yeah. thank you so much for your time and for the information you gave to us. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to your, to your whiskey and to the samples from the Irish whiskey weekend. Uh, until then, uh, have a good time and thank you again for coming. Not at all. Thanks very much for coming. Look forward to seeing everybody at the Irish Whiskey Pocket Bye. Good stuff.